हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द लेक्चर एट ऑफ कंप्लीट सिकोलाइज कॉर्स आई होप यू आर एब्सोल्युटली फाइन एंड सेफ इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट ए मॉडल वी लर्न टू मेथड्स द फर्स्ट वाज द सिकोलाइज डॉट डिफाइन मेथड एंड अदर वाज द एक्सटेंडिंग द मॉडल क्लास फ्रॉम द सिकोलाइज नाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर अस टू लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट द इंस्टेंसेज ऑफ द मॉडल्स विच वी क्रिएटेड अर्लियर एंड इन अदर टर्म्स इफ आई से creating a model means creating a table in the db now it's time to understand and to learn how to actually fetch data in that table which we created by creating a model so let's get started i have created this uh, model for you uh, this user model it has three fields id name and age again the same primary key to auto increment to like it's like a primary key okay so 1 2 3 4 5 it's an auto incremented primary key and then the name and the age of the user okay now um, i now my model is created how can i uh, create a instance out of this model so first thing is this uh let me tell you all the models are available in sqlize variable i am trying to store the uh, i am trying to find out user model uh, reference for user model and i will store it in the user variable let's see how it happens sqlize dot models dot now what is the name of the model which i created the user model okay that's it now i have the access to the user model directly what i can do now is user dot build now pass all the arguments which are required and what are the means what are the fields that you want to set for example in my case i want to set name as amit and age as 12 and this will this will return me an instance of user model and that i am storing in a very uh, very uh, variable user with us small us capital is my variable for uh, model and this is a instance of user model okay now let me console this to show you how it looks let's run this file so as you can see id is null name is amit and age is 12 Uh, so you might be wondering why id is null id is null because uh, this is an auto incremented id which will be present in the database like in the database i will get to know that okay the previous id was 5 now the next should be 6 then 7 then 8 so this is just an object or this is just an instance so that's why it doesn't has uh, it is not yet created in the database that's why id is null right now uh, now next thing you will be thinking why all these things like i uh, this is just an object why this previous data value change options and all this is because this is not a normal object this is an instance of a class that is a sqlize class so there are many things which sqlize is attaches with it so if you want to see uh, only the normal java, javascript object what you can do is to json now as you can see you got the object moving forward now my instance is ready how can i save it to save it what you have to do is nothing much sqlize provide you a very easy method just to what you want to do you want to save just do dot save that's it but as it is an asynchronous task you should write it write a await keyword before it and as you know in javascript await keywords uh, should be like uh, uh, if you want to do something asynchronous and you are you are using as, uh, async await uh, syntax then it should come inside a function that is asynchronous so let me create a function called fun let me make it asynchronous i am pasting all this code inside this function and let me call this function now so let's run this file
so as you can see first it creates a table only if it exists okay because why it's doing that because we are doing sqlize.sync then what it is doing is it is inserting data into users table now let's go to the db and see what is actually there so users table is created why it is users and not user that i have told you earlier also sqlizes prioritizes the name given in the model and uh, the plural form of the model name becomes the name of the table let me see what is inside this table amit age 12 this is the data which i inserted just now and now you can see id is not null now it is one because it is now actually inserted into the data it's like very common sense thing okay so now you have learned how to build an instance how to save an ins instance now let me quickly tell you one thing there is a better way to doing better way of doing this that is just uh, do user dot create what it does it it internally uses build and save method but what you have to do is just use create and rest uh, internally it will first build the instance then it will save the data the name let me say Deepak and age let's say 21 that's it you don't need to save and all that this create will take care of everything let me run this file let's see what's inside the data now now as you can see we got the Deepak age 21 and ID as 2 so we covered the build we covered the save we covered the create also now what if you want to delete something okay very simple what you can uh, do is you can let's see how that works so basically when you create a user this create method also returns you that user in any variable you can let me uh, I'm storing it in variable user let me create a new uh, let me say Yogesh age 22 now what I'm doing is uh, let me console this let me console this user and after that what I'm doing is I'm saying just user dot destroy so what I'm trying to do is first time I will create a user uh, Yogesh age 22 this will go into the database then uh, as this function returns me the same user also I will console it and immediately I am destroying it so you will also see it in the queries also so let's see how it happens yeah So as you can see, uh, one thing uh, which I forgot, you should uh, write await keyword before it because it is an asynchronous task. Let me run it again, then I will be able to show you clearly. So as you can see, what is happening here? First, create a table if it not exists, but our table is already there. No worries. Then insert into users what it is inserting. It is inserting a user with name Yogesh ID. It will take automatically age is 22. I have specified created and, and updated that will be handled by the SQLize. Then after that, I'm consoling the user. This is what I got ID as for name Yogesh age 22 this thing and after that what I am doing is delete from user where ID is equal to 4 so I have also deleted it immediately now let's see if it is in the database or not it is not in the database so that's how uh, destroy works after destroy uh, there is one more thing which you, you can see is how to update okay so update is very simple uh, let me create a user as udhn institute shudhanchu and age is 23 now if i want to update the name what i can do is user dot name equal to chirag and user dot age is equal to let's say 15 that's it now what if i want to save these changes just do user dot save let me run this and see what happens
so what it does is it inserted the data inside the users this is this thing then after that because we have updated the name and the age when we are saving it it will update the name and the age okay so let me see what is in the database so in the database we have chirag and 15 and not chulanchu and 23 because we have updated it now what if if you want to specify that okay i will be um, allowing updates of only restricted things okay so uh, like say that a user cannot a update the age okay uh, so we have a solution for that also let's say this time i am creating a user shudhanchu and age 23 now uh, i am updating the name chirag and ages uh, uh, this time let's say ashutosh and age as 15 now what i am doing is i am specifying fields what it does is just you have to pass the name of the fields that you are allowing as allowing for the update i'm saying name only user can update the name and not the age let me run this and see what happens so now as you can see name is ashutosh and age is 23 now this is very important thing to understand that I updated the age, I updated the name from Shudhanchu to Ashutosh and age from 23 to 15. But what actually got updated is only the name because I am only allowing name to be updated. There is an important thing, There is, uh, I can say, there is a behind the scenes one thing that you should understand is this save method is very smart. This is actually not save. This is internally an update statement. And how it works is if you don't update anything, and you save it it will do nothing let me show you remove these both things remove this also so what I am doing is I am creating a user Shudhanchu with age 23 and, and as it is a create so it will automatically save it then I am again saving it so let's see what happens as you can see after insert there is no update statement this save is doing nothing this is so smart to understand that you have updated nothing and there is nothing it should worry about it but earlier as you can see whenever you were saving it was updating it okay so uh, let's see the database also you, we have a user with Shudhanchu and age is 23 so even if you call save again and again and again and again it will not run it will not affect your performance this is already optimized by the sequelize so this was about how um, smartly um, save behaves uh, I think uh, everything we have covered for this lecture the last thing which is remaining is the reload so how that happens is let me say I created a user and uh, right now okay let me uh, say Shudhanchu 2 and age as 56 now uh, as it is as it is uh, using as I am using create statement so it is already saved now what I am doing is I am using doing user dot name is equal to repo I am updating this name and user dot age is equal to 14 now i updated it in my code but i want the older values which are already present in the database this is not yet updated this user object is updated but this is not updated in the database until i will save it but i don't want to save it now i want the older values back so what i can do is i can do user dot reload and if now i will console the user let's see what i got in the user variable so as you can see the name is shudanchu 2 and age is 56 even if i updated it deepak and age is 14 this is not yet up not get updated and in the database also i have shudanchu 2 and age is uh, 56 with id 8 this doesn't got updated this is because of the reload let me also tell you it is working let me comment this out and see what happens now now as you can see age 
as now as you can see name is Deepu and ID is 9 and age is 14 these are the previous data values previously it was Shudhanchu 2 and now it got updated to Deepu and age is 14 which was earlier 56 ID is same so that's how it works so what we learn in this lecture is how to create instances of a model how to save it how to use create method in place of build and save how to update it using save and how to reload it how to even destroy it so uh, and how save method internally works so that's all for this lecture thanks for watching see you in the next one